Hey guys, DJ Fitness Tips here, and today I'm going to talk to you about why you should throw away the protein bars. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. For those of us that have a busy lifestyle, protein bars seem like a nice, healthy option for on-the-go people. Uh, you know, if you don't have time to make yourself a meal, you know, grab a protein bar, head out the door, you can unwrap it and eat it wherever you go. Most protein bars are going to say, you know, claim lots of protein, all natural, uh, low carb, high carb if that's what you're looking for, uh, these kind of things. And what you need to do is not read the front of the label where it says 30 grams of protein, all natural ingredients, great source of protein, all these things. You need to not look at that stuff, you need to flip it and it's usually under the fold and check out the ingredients. Okay, the main ingredients you're going to find in most protein bars are going to be things like evaporated cane juice, brown rice syrup, hydrogenated oils, and in some cases, sucralose or Splenda. So I want to talk to you about a few of those ingredients. The first one I want to talk about is evaporated cane juice. What is evaporated cane juice? Basically, it's sugar. It's a little bit healthier for you in terms of it holds onto a few more of the minerals than regular sugar does, refined sugar. Uh, but calorie-wise and everything else, it's sugar. At the end of the day, it's sugar. If that's one of the main ingredients, first ingredients usually in protein bars, which is evaporated cane juice, steer clear. You don't want that. That's basically like a candy bar. Okay. Another ingredient is brown rice syrup. Now, brown rice syrup is definitely a healthier option instead of sugar. It's a healthy al alternative to sugar, but nonetheless, still a sweetener and it's still refined. So what it is, is it's going to be a lower calorie, lower glycemic index option, uh, but it's still sugar. So when you're thinking of a healthy, healthy snack and the first ingredient is sugar, that's still not a good idea. Okay, so I'm going to talk about sucralose or Splenda artificial sweetener. Now there's been a lot of studies on sucralose or Splenda and they're finding lots of negative side effects. So Splenda has been linked to causing cancer, it's been linked to increasing your chance of obesity, and Splenda is a chemical. It's a chemical that is about 600 times sweeter than table sugar. When you're thinking in the terms of, of Splenda or regular sugar, yes it's a zero calorie option, but do the side effects, is it worth it? Do you want to have that? And uh, do you want to have that in your healthy protein bar? So, you know, that's kind of your call. Uh, I choose not to have Splenda. If I'm ever going to have an artificial sweetener, I go with Stevia. It's an all-natural, comes from a plant. It's, uh, it's, it's been proven to be the healthiest sugar alternative. So Stevia is a good choice to go with. Another ingredient found in these is hydrogenated oils. What is that? Basically, that's trans fat. What it is, is it is a, an unhealthy oil. It's fat. It's not good. It's saturated fat. It's what you don't want in your diet. And a lot of times, that'll be the first ingredient in protein bars. What it does is it helps turn their soy protein nuggets and their evaporated cages and everything, it helps turn it into a solid and keep it in that nice tight little candy bar look that you get with most protein bars. And you know, the real appeal of protein bars is that everyone's looking for that quick answer, that quick option to health, nutrition, fitness. You know, they want to they wanna get the quick abs and the six minute workouts. They want to have the quickest options for healthy meals. People are busy. You're on the go, you're on the move. It's understandable. Uh, but the bottom line is, guys, just like in the weight room, you're not going to see any results if you don't put out the effort in the gym. You're not going to see any results if you don't put the effort into the kitchen or into your nutrition. So you can't just go buy protein bars and pre-made healthy meals and lean cuisines, things like this. You need to put in the time to plan your meals. What you need to do is, you know, like I have another video on, on preparing bulk meals. I talk about how to prepare actual, you know, lunches or dinners. The same thing applies for your snacks. So instead of getting a protein bar, make yourself a prepared snack with the same amount of calorie content. You know, protein bars typically have a calorie content anywhere from about 160 to 400 calories, depending on the goal of the bar, whether it's a, you know, just protein bar, or if it's a, it's a replacement meal or whatever it is, about 160 to 400 calories. Prepare yourself a nice 250 to 300 calorie snack. That can be a handful of nuts and, uh, you know, some cottage cheese or yogurt in a nice to-go container. Now, that doesn't take very long to prepare. You can also prepare things like chicken, lean cuts of, of beef, or any kind of, of animal source of protein if you'd like on the go as well. Just prepare that and put it in portion size containers. That's the best way to go. Uh, you know, there's all kinds of healthier, natural, whole food options for your snacks. 
whey protein is another option you can use. Now whey protein does have added things in it as well, uh, but it doesn't have near the amount of, of oils and, and, and sugars and fats. So at the end of the day, what a protein bar really is, is a little bit healthier option than say a candy bar. Uh, and that's not what you want to base your snacks around, is protein bars. Now, should you X out protein bars completely out of your diet? No. If you, if you really need to choose between a candy bar or, you know, something nasty from a convenience store or a protein bar, protein bar is going to be your best choice. Don't make it a, a staple in your daily nutrition plan. Yeah, guys, I know you don't like to hear this, but uh, if you got protein bars stashed in your house, toss them out. Start fresh. Make yourself some nice whole food snacks and your body's going to thank you. Alright, stay tuned for the next video guys.